This is Leaf Links. It's a public park in the suburb of Leaf in Edinburgh. But back in 1744, this is where the first open golf tournament took place, which is when the first 13 rules of golf were drafted. I live just a couple of minutes away from here and nowadays the only way you'd be able to tell of this location's importance to golf as we know it are these three plaques and a statue of John Ratray. On the 2nd of April 1744, Ratray won that first Open Golf Tournament which consisted of 11 players and in doing so became the first captain of golf. Here he is. On the tee from Scotland, John Ratray. Little round of applause. Play well. There were five holes on the Leaf Links course, and it's thought they went round three times to complete a round. And when Ratray won, he was given a silver club and added his signature as captain of golf to the document of rules. Golf has come a long way since this man was teeing off here at Leaf Links, but as I've just returned from Abu Dhabi, I thought this would be the perfect location to introduce you to a video I filmed over the last two years at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship to show you why it's a sporting event any sports fan should be attending. I'm Tom Bushell, a sports broadcaster and event host with a passion for travel. And I'm inviting you to join me as I tell the story of our world through sport and adventure. Every week I'm showcasing the sports that make a destination and the adventures that bring them to life. With some incredible stories along the way of how sport and adventure brings us all together. This week, I'm in Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates, to showcase to you one of the world's biggest golf tournaments, and I'll be joined by some famous faces to tell you why you must attend. Welcome to the Planet Playground YouTube channel. I'd love you to join the community, like the video, comment with any questions, and subscribe as I bring together travel, sport, and adventure because our planet is our playground. The Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship is staged at Yas Lynx Golf Club on Yas Island. So not only do you have the golf course to enjoy, but the likes of Ferrari World and Yas Marina Circuit. I'm staying at the magnificent Hilton Hotel Yas Island. It'll cost around £200 per night, depending on the time of year, and the facilities are brilliant, including the massive swimming pool, beach club area, and just out the back, make sure you head to Pier 71, where there's loads of restaurants to enjoy. I'm staying in a pool view room. Now this is home, home for the next week of the Abu Dhabi HSBC Golf Championship. It's a lovely home. And upon checking in, I discovered a surprise on the bed. As I came into the room there, I saw a lovely welcome gift, well presented uh, on the bed, which is always nice uh, to receive when you check in to a new hotel. So thank you, uh, Hilton Abu Dhabi Yas Island. And there was this lovely welcome card as well. However, as I went to read the welcome card, I see it's addressed to Mr. Finnis, which I'm presuming obviously is Ian Finnis, Tommy Fleetwood's caddy. I want to know what the welcome gift is, so I had a little look inside, and it's some nice chocolates from the hotel, but I'm not going to touch them. So I'm going to make a call and try and get them back to Ian Finnis. It says to Mr. Finnis, so Mr. Finnis, is Tommy Fleetwood Scaddy. I'm, I'm just obviously, I'd just like him to get his welcome gift. Yeah, let's get these chocolates to Mr. Finnis. <laughs> so my mission for the week, as well as work commitments and showing off the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship to you, is now to find Ian Finnis and make sure he got his welcome gift. But first it's time to get accustomed to the Aslinx golf course. One little tip when you come to the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship is bring appropriate footwear. It is of course a Lynx course, so you'll be walking over sand dunes and mounds and what have you. So be prepared. 
prepared. As you walk into Yaslink's Golf Club, you'll come across a statue of old Tom Morris, of course, lovingly referred to as the grandfather of golf. And if you want to know more about his story, you should watch the video I filmed at America's oldest golf club, still in continuous use. I'll put the link to the video in the description below. Gas Links is ranked number 48 in the world's top 100 best golf courses list. It is known to be the Middle East's first true link style golf course and is designed by Kyle Phillips. 2022 sees the first time the course has staged a DP World Tour event. Here's my first attempt to seek out Ian Finnis on the golf course. Because I want to know if he got his welcome gift at the hotel. The Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship has a rich history. It began in 2006 and has grown to be a starting tournament of the year for many of the DP World Tour's players. And the list of former champions is impressive. I've never really come across two great sporting venues of the world side by side. Here I am on the dunes of the Yaslinks golf course and literally just over the road there is the home of the Abu Dhabi Formula One Grand Prix Yas Marina Circuit. Which has got a few stories to tell from over the years. And as I celebrate our planet being our playground, there is no doubting that the destination of Yas Island adds to the experience of attending the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship. I've been speaking to friends of the tournament as to why they love attending the first Rolex Series event of each year's DP World Tour. Brian McFadden here in Abu Dhabi uh, performing tonight for the end of the uh, day's play on the third round of Lady, the uh, Ladies' Day. Ladies' Day ladies is day. Uh, today in the Championship Village around the golf course. Uh, welcome to Abu Dhabi. Are you enjoying it? You've had a great week so far. I played the Pro Am on Wednesday very badly. <laughs> um, and I've watched some great golf so far. It's been yeah. brilliant. Yeah, it's an amazing championship, isn't yeah. it? Uh, and great crowd as well. A lot of Irish in Abu Dhabi. There is a lot. There's a lot of expats, a lot of Irish and English, you can tell, yeah. because they walk a little sideways come the evening time. Yeah, but it's been a great championship so far. I think it's a. Uh, yeah, you know, what, what would you say is your sort of. Because I'm doing like five reasons to come to the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship. Yeah. What would you put a reason down for? I would say it's, it's becoming a bit like you know, an open championship for the. You know, you just don't know what's going to happen. Like the mm. first day, the weather was perfect. Yeah. People were out there shooting nine under par. Yeah. And then the next day, it was like one of the really bad days, yeah. you know, in Carnoustie. Yes. Where there's people shooting nine, 10, 11 over par. You know, yeah. some of the best golfers in the world. So yeah. it is a great championship for that, that you, you never know what's going to happen. And the conditions completely change yeah. overnight which is great but this place is, is, is wild you've got like some of the best golfers in the world just here and you've got people testing formula one cars just across the street yeah, it's, it's amazing isn't everything's it? going on here yeah it's a great sporting destination it is Tim Hemman, former British number one. Um, I do have it on video that I've beaten you before in Abu Dhabi many years ago. <laughs> I think it was clever editing though. I have selective memory, so I remember all my good bits and then I erase all the, all the bad bits. Sure. I have no recollection of that. Absolutely. Uh, here we are at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship. We're looking for five reasons as to why you should attend this sporting event. Why should it be on your bucket list? Well, I mean, first and foremost, golf, isn't it? I mean, best players in the world. Um, new course, Yaz Links. Um, we're lucky enough to play yesterday in the Pro-Am. It was absolutely spectacular. It was in immaculate condition. Um, so yeah, first and foremost, the golf. But um, then when you look at all the other opportunities around coming to the village, um, you know, so many different activities. Brian O'Driscoll. Uh, great to see you uh, back here in Abu Dhabi. Of course, you've been to this tournament a few times, the HSBC Championship. What's your reason for making sure this sporting event is on your bucket list? It's because it's free. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love a freebie? So if you're coming in and getting to see in close quarters, Rory, Morikawa and your bucket. I agree, because I mean, tournaments of this calibre around the world don't tend to be free. You're paying no. high money, you know, lots of money to get in. This is free, you can come every day, it's free. Mm, and you know, if you get bored of the golf, which you absolutely won't, you know, the village and everything yeah. that, you know, all the other components to golf yeah. these days are so entertaining. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's something for nine to 90, as they say, and you know, boys and girls. Iona Steven. Hello. Thank you for chatting to me. Here we are in Abu Dhabi. We are. New course for the DP World Tour. 
stunning, isn't it? It is stunning. I'm going to put my sunnies on, I think, because it's bright. It's a gorgeous day today. We've had it all this week, though, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we have. Here in Abu Dhabi. It's a great way to start the year. Yeah. Uh, new home now here on Yas Island. And there's so much to do away from the golf course. What have you been up to on the island? Last night, I was just there at Ferrari World. Roller coaster. Ro we did the two fastest roller coasters there, yeah. Nick Dirty and I. We took on the world's fastest roller coaster, which was, well, how would I describe that? <laughs> it was um, tummy turning. Yeah. I, I'm still recovering, actually. It's horrible. It's like the beginning. It, it takes you up to 150 miles an hour, and you just feel your stomach go, yeah. and then it carries on, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> just for way longer than you, you want to be, and then it takes you on all these twists and turns. <laughs> and of course, any golf event that is worth its weight in gold will have these two, the Trick Shot boys, uh, with us once again. Not seeing you since Dubai. How are you keeping? <laughs> good to see you, mate. No, really well, thanks, mate. Yeah. yeah, really well. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah very really good. good. Kev, uh, Jeff uh, here, put on a spectacular show as always in Abu Dhabi. Um, quick one, what, 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 what would you say to anyone wanting to come to this championship? Why should they do it? What's so good about it? I just think it's the first one, it's the first one of the year. Everyone's, you know, from, especially from people coming home to visit Abu Dhabi. Yeah. It's so special. The weather's perfect. The golf courses are in incredible condition. Yeah. Um, and there's so much to do here at Abu Dhabi now. I mean, you've yeah. got Water World, you've got Ferrari World, you've got the track. And the golf courses are amazing. Yeah. And, and there's also, you know, lovely places to bring your other halves as well and, and, and just chill out. Yeah, nice. And okay. This event really specifically is the, the, the top golfers in the world, you know, European yeah. top Rolex golfers. series. Yeah. Yeah, big field. Big field and, big and, and, and you can, you know, you're just right by them watching them on the practice ground like stuff, some, seeing some fantastic yeah. golf. Great place to be. Right, Great nice. Be. Okay, uh, sunshine's out. You guys just give us a quick brief uh, little example of what you're doing here in Abu Dhabi. Well, we'll sure be good. What, do you want any more? I mean, you didn't need more than that. I mean, you don't really. <laughs> So to recap, the five reasons to visit the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship are the world-class field of golfers that assemble every year. One two from Australia, Adam Scott. The unpredictability of the conditions. It's a unbelievable for day two. The golf course Yas Links, as well as the destination of Yas Island. Look at this magnificent view. Yas Links, Formula One track in the background as well. Stunning, stunning location here on Yas Island. The championship village and all of the fun that can be had there. And the fact that it's free to attend. And just a few more bonus reasons. I'll add in the hospitality, the sunshine, the view of the Abu Dhabi mangroves. all of the Abu Dhabi mangroves here and literally everywhere on Yas Links Golf Club. You're never really out of sight. There are stunning, stunning sight in Abu Dhabi. And you can actually rent kayaks, kayak all around these waterways. Click the link on screen now to find out how. And of course, seeing the Trick Shot Boys in action. Now with a quick break in my schedule, it was time to have another scout around the golf course to see if I could find Tommy Fleetwood's caddy, Ian Finnis. I finally spotted Ian Finnis. He's over here on the 18th, so I'm going to walk up with them and uh, hopefully <laughs> catch him when he comes off the 18th to see if he got his welcome gift at the hotel, his welcome card. It's important, it's important. But before meeting up with Ian Finnis, there was work to do, starting with reporting for the Zoom Virtual Clubhouse, hosting the Championship's opening night. Hello and welcome to the opening night of the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship. Introducing Brian McFadden on the Championship Village stage. Please welcome Brian McFadden! Introducing the players onto the 18th green. And also welcome our winner here in Abu Dhabi in 2019, also in the same year, the Open champion from Ireland, Shane Lowry. <laughs> and presenting the prize giving ceremony. And once the trophy was presented, I finally accomplished my mission for the week. 
Here we are, Ian Finnis, Tommy Fleetwood's caddy. All week uh, since I checked into the Hilton Hotel, I've been trying to track you down to make sure you got your welcome card and your welcome gift at the Hilton Hotel. Did you? I did. But Brilliant. My roommate ate them. So I never seen them. He thought they were there. The week for me is complete. You're happy. I'm, made, uh, I'm happy you got them. Uh, very quickly, Yasling's Golf very course. Good. First, uh, first time it. here on the tour. Excellent. Course. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed the wind. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice, South, nice place. Nice work. Amazing. Amazing. That's all we want to hear. All right. Thanks, Ian. And that wraps up my showcase of the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship for you. Thanks to everyone who took part in the video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. The championship is well worth attending. It's a tournament that really kickstarts a new season on the DP World Tour. And whilst many of us are suffering from the January blues, there's no doubting the sunshine of Abu Dhabi is a perfect way to begin a new year. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment with any questions below. And I'll see you again next week as I continue my journey discovering how our planet is our playground.